Hey guys, welcome back to another Fantech 104 hotel tour video. We are at another hotel in Wildwood this week. We are at the Olympic Island Beach Resort in Wildwood Crest, New Jersey. If you look over there, look carefully, we got a thunderstorm on the way. So we're gonna quick make this video beforehand. So, let's get started. Right in there is the hotel's lobby. That's where you check in, you get your par parking passes, and all that good stuff. So this is a very old hotel from 1949, though I don't think it opened as the Olympic Island. Could be wrong, though. So what's really neat is, that's the pool back, back there. It's on the first floor, well, first floor, even though it's really the second floor of the building. There's a reason why we're coming back here. Right here is the hotel's restaurant. They're open for breakfast and lunch. It's a 50s theme, but if you check it out, you can see all the 50s theme decorations. We had a breakfast there this morning. It was very good. It's nice that the hotel has a breakfast. Obviously it's not free, but it's still a good restaurant. And this is the takeout section over here. Pause if you want to read the menu. And over here is interesting. This is a single file escalator, uh, not escalator, man-powered elevator. It's very narrow, so you can show, it shows you the age of this property. The parking spaces can be very tight. There's not a lot of parking here, so obviously it's one car per room. They got a bike rack here, which is nice. You don't really see a whole, whole lot of that around here. At least now the hotels I've stayed at in the past. That door back there goes to the lobby, which I think is closed right now, considering it's 921 at night. They do have an elevator here. So we'll take it up to the second floor. Actually, we'll go to the first floor. First, we don't know what floor this elevator is on. Here's a better look at the lobby. So we'll go look at the pool. It's already going down. So it's nighttime right now, so it's kind of hard to see the pool, but here comes the day version. So as you can see, the deck at this hotel gets very busy, unlike the uh, Commander of the Seas uh, deck. So there's a lot more people here, especially since we're closer to the boardwalk area. However, the pool just closed, so it's a perfect time to take a look at the pool. It's a very nice one. <laughs> look at that, somebody's cup ended up down there in the kiddie pool. So get my zoom lens going. There we go. So obviously this is a blue design because the kiddie pool doesn't look anything like the main pool, which is down here. So it goes very deep, actually. I like this little blue, this blue tiling here too. Well, it's not tile, but still. It goes down to 10 feet. This is a very nice pool. And what's really cool about this hotel is the pool's a level above the ground floor because the ground floor is all parking. So it's really neat to see a pool above ground. So yeah, this deck here is interesting. Even at like 10 o'clock at night, it's last night we found it to be very busy. So it's a very popular spot to hang out at. Somebody left their pool toys here because these are obviously not the hotels. And there's plenty of seats to sit down at. What? <laughs> I 
But yeah, there's your pool. So that was the pool and the deck too. There's a lot of people over there. So even during the day, there's still a lot of people over there. So it's kind of hard to get a video of it during the day. So let's go up to the second floor now. So yeah, this is the elevator in this hotel. It's actually kind of cool. Arrows burned out. That's the Lakiki over there. So back here is the hotel's laundry. You got some dryers over here. And washing over here. Over here is one of the manpower elevators. With the man-powered elevator, you get your ice machine. So this is a sister property of where we stayed last year, the Commander by the Sea. They do charge for ice here, 25 cents, but they do give you a pretty generous amount. All right. There's the Viking over there. All right, let's go take a look at the room. We are staying here in room 210. Hey, it's back to daytime, but the rest of my party's at the beach right now, so we're gonna go take a tour of this room. This is your deadbolt here. Basic security, it locks as soon as um, you enter, the, you close the door and enter the room. Deadbolt, there's no latch there for some reason. It's a very small hotel, as you can see. There's not really much to it. The room's pretty big. Well, at least this part of the room is. Because we stayed at the commander and the commander rooms were smaller, especially the suites. This is still pretty nice. As this is a family resort beach hotel, there's no desk to do like business and whatever. So me and dad just set up our computers wherever we could. But of course this year, I was, I was not expecting this to be so high, so I didn't bring my keyboard extension. But of course, since I didn't realize it was gonna be that big, I didn't bring it. Just like all the other Hawaii hotels, Domino's sponsors all these directories. It's funny, there's a much better um, pizza pizzeria across the street that's really good that we go to every year called Poppy's. Got some pretty spacious drawers. And here we have a safe. Let's demonstrate the safe. Keep all your belongings in there. We'll do simple for the channel. O, one, O, four, lock. Now it's secure, can't open it. There we go. There's actually two of them. Just for the heck of it, let's see what this fit, the perspective looks like from inside the, space, the safe. Bye everybody. I'm gonna do this with code so that way I don't get my, lock my phone in there. I trapped you guys in there, ha ha. Oh, I just noticed something too. There you go. You don't have to put in a code to unlock and lock the safe. If you want to, you get a wide variety of cards can do the job for you. I mean, look at that. Now it's locked. So now in order to unlock it, we gotta do the same thing in reverse. There we go, third time's the charm. So yeah, isn't that cool? They give you quite a bit of pillows here and they give you an extra blanket. Look in the mirror. Hey there. This is one, this is the sofa here. But if you look inside, this extends into a fold out bed. So if you need a extra, an extra bed around here, especially if you have two kids or, or, or two parents and two kids, they can each have their own bed. 
look at this. I'm making a giant mess out of this. <laughs> All right. Here's our fridge. Is that, my grandmother actually has a bigger fridge downstairs. It's actually the same one they use at the old Regal. Got plenty of good stuff in here. Well, we brought it. My dad made some chickens and some pasta and meatballs. Well, just meatballs, because we got to boil the pasta ourselves. So we got some Bailey's Irish cream. It's really good. So if you're legal age, definitely recommend it. Where do we get potato salad? That's new. Got some ice and some frozen waters in there. This hotel has the electric burners I like, because look, the, the, the radiators are inside this flush panel. I don't like the ones that have popped out. And plus they catch on fire. When we had one of those at my old, at the um, house we're at now, I remember cooking ravioli one night and it, the burner caught on fire. With this, you don't have to worry about it as much, which is nice. Got a microwave here. Got your sink. Plenty of storage. You got some cups, plates, and our, and our junk. They actually do give you a coffee maker, which is awesome. Like a full coffee maker. Coffee filters, you're ready to go. And a toaster. Fire extinguishers should be in here. Yeah, it's probably in here. No, I, oh no, it's not. I wonder what it is. All right, so now onto the bathroom. It's clean, but it's definitely very dated. One thing I don't like about this bathroom is that there's no fan. It's probably because this building's so old, they didn't even put it in at the time. So it does get kind of swampy in here. But it's, not, it's, it's well cleaned, that's for sure. A sink. Toilet. Oh, aqua source. Okay. The shower pressure on this thing is very good. In fact, I'm going to turn it so I don't spill the camera. Or I don't spill water on the phone. That'd be bad. I mean, look at that. And it gets hot very quickly, too. So this is a nice shower they have here. Oh, forgot to show you the TV. This is a Westy TV. Last year we had a Westinghouse microwave. This year we have a Westinghouse TV, which is really cool. The, the TV inside the room is not a Westinghouse, but we never use the one inside the room. Okay, it's, hard to it's hard to connect a computer and use it as a second monitor. Here's the other safe right here. The beds are pretty, nice, are pretty comfortable for the most part. Though here's a downside right here. These curtains are terrible, because look. <clears throat> Look how much light there still is in the room. It's enough to wake you up. So I think they should just take care of the curtains at some point. Might not even open them yet because there's still plenty of light in here. Got some more storage over here. Oh, there's an alarm clock right there. Look at that. That's actually kind of clever they put it in there in case someone wants to use it, but if they'd rather use their phone, that's not in the way. There's no main light, but this light is what you use to light up the room at night. That switch over there controls this fan, which feels great. There's no actual closets, but they do give you a nice hanger to hang stuff up, which is nice. Beds are fairly firm, but they're nice. They're pretty, I slept in two, them two nights now, and they are pretty comfortable. There's Big Butt Bear, there's Bucky, and Small Butt Bear. Overall, this is a good place, and we're enjoying it so far. And I'd say I recommend it. Oh, this is also a sister property of the Commander Resort, too, so it's roughly the same people. But yeah, there's the room for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this hotel tour. We have another Wildwood property. This is the fourth one. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. See you all later.